Hi everybody, welcome back for another video. I know it's been a while since I've been here. I'm going to include a little bit of a clip here. I'm getting ready for a recording this afternoon. We're going to be recording a faculty recital at the University of Tulsa, which should go live, I don't know, next week, first week of May. I, don't, I can't remember when. Um, but it's a, uh, some wonderful music for flute, harp, flute, harp, and violin, and flute, harp, and viola. And one of the pieces that we're playing is a piece that I've played many, many, many times, and it's such a fun piece to play. And so here's a little bit of the opening. a fun, fun, fun piece to play. The first piece on the recital is Doppler Effect by Adrian Albert for flute, viola, and harp. The second piece will be three of the five pieces by Cesar Qui for flute, violin, and uh, harp. Then the other pieces we're going to be playing are... Um, from the Suite Espanol by Albinez, the movement Granada. We will be doing a fantasy on Japanese folk themes by Josef Molnar. And then we'll be ending with that, which I just played, which is the Entracht uh, by Jacques Ibert. So we're, we're taking you to Japan. We're taking you to France. We're taking you to Russia. A little jaunt in, in the United States, um, since it's been a year of no travel, we thought we would take you to some of those places where people would love to be visiting. So when it is available, I know it will be linked on the University of Tulsa's Facebook page, and it will also be linked on their YouTube page. And I will definitely make sure that it is either linked up here somewhere or wherever it is, I can't tell with the camera, um, but I will make sure that it is linked in this video description so you can share in our little excursion across the world in this COVIDian era. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, that's just explaining a little bit of what I've been doing. I had a faculty recital that got recorded, uh, and the um, performance will... I think go live on the 29th of April. Um, it'll be through the University of Tulsa School of Music YouTube page and also on the maybe their Facebook page and actual web page. But I will make sure that I um, include a link. So if you want to see uh, the concert, uh, you will get a chance. It'll, it'll, it'll be about, about an hour. Uh, we're doing a little bit of talking about the music. We wanted to take all of the people that watch the recital. It's mainly meant for the community and for the university students. So the music students can get recital credit and and hear the faculty perform. And um, this year has been a little odd for that. Normally there's like, you know, a certain number of requirements that the students have to attend. Um, and so, this is just one way of them being able to fulfill that requirement is faculty recorded concerts. So there we go. Sounds like my next door neighbor is either woodworking, blowing leaves or trimming or something. So you might hear that. I'm sorry about that, but I have a little package arrived today from Jet Pens. I've been using my I think I have it in here. If you've seen my YouTube, or my YouTube, good lord, you are on my YouTube. If you've seen my Instagram, I've been using my Lamy All Star. This is the 2015. Oh no, I got a scratch on it. It's the 2015. I might not keep it in there. The 2015 limited edition uh, orange copper pen. 
And um, I did have brown ink in it because I had a teeny tiny tiny little bit of a sample of ink left um, just to write a couple of things and then I <clears throat> ran out. So I put a um, blue, it's a blue black ink cartridge from Lamy that I had in it. But I wanted to get some more of that ink. It was Monteverdi brown, you know, just a Monteverdi brown, nothing um, too fancy. But since it's jet pens, I, I didn't want to buy like five ink cartridges and have to spend, you know, like $12 on shipping and the ink only cost like six bucks. So I bought a few things as you'll see. Um, yay, so it's all here. I think that's all of it. Anyone remember when their, their orders used to come with a cute little sticker of that jet pen dude? I was going through some old um, orders, uh, notebooks that I had and um, I, I saw one of those little stickers in there and I forgot about that, but there. So what I decided to do, instead of order a, um, what's it called? Instead of ordering like a little bottle of the Monteverdi brown ink, Monteverdi also makes the ink cartridges that fit the um, Lamy fountain pens. And so I just got three packs of five of the brown, which I'm gonna have to wait until I finish using this blue. Um, this order came to me a lot faster than I was expecting because mail in Oklahoma has been horrible. So um, so I've got blue I've got to use up first um, before I can switch to the brown. But since even that was only $15, I figured, well, $35 is free shipping, so. I decided to order this, and it is a Lamy. You can see by the box, and the box got a little smushed, because these things should be up. Let me... Um, it's kind of an interesting packaging for sure, but this is a Tippo pen, which is like a roller ball or like a ballpoint pen. Um, it has a aluminum body, but this part of it is plastic. Um, it doesn't really limit to warranty. Um, but I don't think it's... One thing about these pens is, which I just discovered, is that um, someone said that the Pentel Energel refills fit it. Everyone knows my favorite pen is the Pentel Energel. Um, and so I ordered a couple of the, um, oh, what are these, Monteverde in the brown ink, because I love brown ink, um, rollerballs, medium point, ballpoint, um, to use in here if this didn't work, because I didn't want to have, what was it, blue or black that comes in the, the pen. So let's try this. So there's that. I've never had one of these pens before. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, that is great to know that the here, let me take this sticker off. This is the Tippo Rollerball, and it's the coffee. 
color. I'm probably doing a horrible job of showing you the pen. Let me take that sticker off and put it on the box. There's already one there, but we'll put, where do we want to put that in my journal? Well, we'll see. Um, so let me get my notebook out. I've got it in my, there's my brown traveler's notebook. insert back here. So I should have tried it with the, this is the ink that it comes with. It is the um, Lamy M66 Rollerball. I'll just, Lamy M66 Rollerball. Actually, you know, for a black ink, and for a rollerball, it actually feels quite nice. Wow. I might... What I'll do is I'll put this in here. Just to kind of help keep it... I mean, it's a, it's a rollerball. It's like a very um, oily ink so it, it's not going to dry up too soon. I'll put that in there. But this is the Lamy and kind of like since it's an aluminum body it's kind of hard to see but it's like etched in Lamy. It's etched in up here as well and it has quite a unique catch. So let me this is with the, um, it's quite a light pen. I think having this part be plastic definitely helps keep it light. And it's kind of on the small side. Let's see. Ooh, see, it's the, the brown I love more than the, the black. Lamy Tippo with the Pentel Energel that's 0.7. That is so cool. Since I've already got it in there. <laughs> um, let me open this and put this with my refills. But just so you can see, there's a slight difference. This is the... Oh, what size is this? The zero 05 maybe? It says medium point to fit Lamy ballpoint pens. Hmm. Lamy Monteverde. It looks like it's a 0 0.5, but it says it's a medium. So you can see there's a slight difference. This is more of a muted brown, and the, the pen tail is much juicier of a but I think it's because this is a type of ballpoint, but that's a gel pen. So I've got a few different types of refills that I can use. And this has the, um, it's a Lamy. It's the blue black. This actually was the first fountain pen I got, this Lamy, and it still is to this date one of my, my favorite pens. I know I, I have better pens, like I've got a couple of sailors that are beautiful pens, but I still like writing with this. I'm not sure what that means or what that says, um, but this is really nice to have as a light alternative. And like, look at that, it's perfect with my passport. Look at, oh, some people have asked what this is on my um, 
passport. Um, I'll include a couple of photos here. It is an Israeli coin. It is like the smallest denomination coin they have. Um, it is an agarot. It is a 10. Um, I think it's worth maybe 30 cents. 30 cents, I think, is what it is. Um, one of my conductor friends is Jewish and his mother is from Israel. And um, I actually got this from a, a store on Etsy that they take coins from around the world and turn them into like necklaces and... I got one for myself a while ago and I got one for the husband and I came across it because I've been going through my stuff and so that's what I have there. It, it wasn't much of an order. Um, I got some brown Monteverde ink cartridges for my fountain pen for my Lammy and then I got this cute little Lammy ball pen and some brown refills. But if you have one of these Lammy uh, rollerball tipo pens, from what I've understood is any of the Pentel Energel will fit it, fit it like the LR7, um, any of the um, Pentel Energel that are a uh, like a 05, because everything else is still the same. And also the um, Pilot G2 will fit it. So that means that my favorite pen, oh, and also the Uni, the, um, I don't think this, is this a Uni in here? Yes, and also the Uni will fit inside of it. So they're quite, um, you know, if you don't like the rollerball, refill that comes with this pen. There's lots of options you have. The Uni, the Pentel, the Pilot G2. All of them will fit in that cute little pen. So there we are, just a quick little video today. Um, I will link jet pens down below because um, that's where I got all of these things from. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.